What's up guys? So I decided I'm gonna completely sell out and do a top 10 list. Shout out to my boy Danny Nicholas, check out his channel, link below. We were talking about YouTube views and how everybody's gotta sell out and do a top 10 list at least once, right? So here's my top 10. Top 10 excuses that people give for not eating better and or breaking their diet. Number 10. It's a splurge. Oh, it's a splurge day. How many splurge days have you had this month? How many times have you splurged? What is a splurge? What does that even mean? What else can I splurge on? Can I splurge on alcohol? Can I have an alcohol splurge? How often can I have one? Can I splurge on women? What are these splurge rules? Number nine. I already eat okay. Do you though? Are you really happy with how you feel right now? Would we even be having this conversation if you really felt that way? I felt that way for years and then I stepped on the scale and I was 260. I thought I was eating just okay. Damn, I guess not. Number eight. I'll starve. You'll starve if you eat less? Really? Are you gonna pass out in the middle of Midtown Manhattan trying to get home because you didn't have a snack about an hour ago? Are you telling me all that body fat that you're carrying is it gonna sustain you? Am I gonna have to call emergency medical services because you didn't have breakfast or that Starbucks croissant? Number seven, diets don't work. They never work. That's because you're going on diets. Diets are doomed to failure. I actually agree with this one. The whole problem is, is that you're treating it like a diet. Diets end. The very term of I'm going on a diet is the same as saying, I'm gonna eat really good for like a little while and then I'm gonna go back to normal. But normal is what got you where you are now and why you have to go on a diet in the first place. You don't need a diet, you need a lifestyle change. You need a habit change. I don't wanna go vegan slash and or, keto slash and or, I can't give up sugar. That's the problem. Nobody's saying you have to do any one of these extreme things to lose weight. You literally just have to ingest less calories. To eat better, you literally just have to eat a little less. There's a whole different discussion about cutting back on sugar, bread, and everything else. The bottom line is, you're just putting too much food in your face. So, whichever diet you choose, um, again, I don't like saying diet, whichever lifestyle change you want to take on, the reason it works is because you're eating less. You're losing weight on keto because you're eating less. You're losing weight because you're vegan because you're eating less. You're not eating all the meats like we were eating before. It's just a calorie change. Five. Nothing tastes good. Healthy food is just nasty. Of course it doesn't taste as good as fat. You think a salad is going to taste good as ribs? Or wings? Or apple pie? Or milkshake? That stuff is laced with drugs. Sugar is drugs. And fat is the most savory thing you could possibly eat. The reason it doesn't taste good is because you're too used to eating all this ridiculously processed, crazy, fattening stuff. You have to adapt your taste buds. Once you cut out all the junk, then the good stuff actually starts tasting better. You start looking forward to that avocado. You start looking forward to that salad. That yogurt starts to taste amazing. Trust me. Your body starts to crave the things that actually are good for it. So that one, it's never going to change. Healthy food never tastes as good as ribs. Healthy food is too expensive. That's because you're spoiled and you buy everything from Chopped. That's because you don't prep anything and you buy everything pre-made. That's because the only salad you buy is the one you get from Chopped that costs you like 19 bucks. You know how cheap eggs are for breakfast? You know how cheap a salad is if you actually just make it? You know how cheap a big container of yogurt is that you can spread out and make your own parfait? It's not expensive to eat less. And even if you get good quality organic meat that costs a little bit more, you could spread that meal and make something that will last you two days. If you got leftovers, you just knocked out two meals. It evens out. One of my favorites, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I'm not here to put fasting on anybody. That's my lifestyle, but I don't push it on anybody. Even if you eat three meals a day, breakfast doesn't have to be pancakes with syrup, French toast, bacon, waffles. How's your breakfast got more calories than your lunch and your dinner? Food's supposed to give you energy. If you're crashing by the time you sit down at your office, that's a problem. If you're gonna eat breakfast, eat a light breakfast. Eat a protein, eat some eggs, eat a yogurt, hard boiled egg, egg platter. You don't want eggs? Have some greens, have, a, have an avocado, have a banana. And if it's tough at first, it's because you're so hooked on sugar. 
Here's another good one. You go home after work, you sit down, you break out that big tub of ice cream. What do you tell yourself? I deserve this. You deserve to suffer. You deserve diabetes. You deserve to feel shitty about yourself. I don't think you deserve that. What do we do to earn that horrible meal that's gonna make us feel worse? Let's think about this for a second. I just had a long weekend of binge eating, right? Went out to eat with family, we had some cake, whatever. So I wake up all sluggish, craving sugar right away. I have my regular sugary meal, have my lunch, go home. Work was hard, right? Everything aches, I'm tired. You know why everything aches when you're tired? It's because you ate like crap over the weekend. And then you're gonna go home and reward yourself for making it through that by eating like crap even more. You don't deserve to suffer. It's not a reward. You're actually punishing yourself. Number one, my favorite one. Somebody walks in with a meal they know they're not supposed to be eating. They look you right in the face and what do they say to you? Don't judge me. And they storm away. It's the best one. It's my favorite one because nobody is going to continue the conversation after they got don't judge me. That is the ultimate. I know I messed up. I know I'm not supposed to be eating this. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to hear it. And we're not going to discuss it. And that just negates everything. And now it's okay. Listen, if you can pull off a don't judge me, I feel you. Shout out to you, Kev. That's why it's got to be number one. It's infallible. I'm really not going to argue with somebody who just did a don't judge me on me. But just know, if you pulled that out your bag, that means that you know you really messed up and you're going to feel guilty right afterwards. All right, this was actually fun to make. That was a good top 10. As always, do all the things like comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. Thanks for watching. Peace.